In this video, we will talk about the, uh, the topic of optimization. Uh, if you're looking for tutorials, I would like to let you know that this is a non-calculus based optimization uh, video. Okay, this topic gets often covered in algebra and pre-calculus, but and also in calculus. But this is a non-calculus version. Okay, so um, so just make sure that you are finding this video useful. So, uh, what is optimization? So we are, we will say that uh, uh, the way we optimize something, it's like uh, we're trying to find the biggest volume, the smallest volume. We're trying to uh, maximize the uh, the profit, minimize the cost, and find the shortest uh, length of a box. So you see a lot of these uh, superlative um, um, words in the question, and usually you have these word problems. Uh, in which uh, the word problems are often the, uh, the the trouble for many students. So, so in this video, we're going to uh, go over the the techniques uh, that we will use to to uh, to learn how to calculate uh, optimization problems. So, because we're looking all, at all these maximum, minimum, the cheapest, all these high values and low values. So what I want you to uh, what I want you to think of is that we are going to anticipate some graphs like these two that we will see the maximum value and the minimum value uh, from the graphs. Now it's also very important to know that the uh, the labeling of the y axis and the x axis, which is the uh, the y axis is the function, okay, and the x axis is the independent variable. Now it would uh, I will show you why this is important uh, as we go over the the, the sample uh, the sample question later on, but just keep in mind that we will have a function and we will have a variable okay to make these graphs. So uh, this is the question that I uh, that I that I would like to go over uh, in this video. It says a container with square base, vertical sides, and an open top is to be made from 1,000 square feet of material. Find the dimension of the container with greatest volume. Okay, so uh, so what I would suggest students to do when they uh, encounter a question like this is that don't panic, just go ahead and extract any useful information from the question as possible. So what I can get from the question is that there's an open box. Okay, so so how about we draw a box? that has an open top, okay? So so this is my box, okay? The top is open. You can see the inside of the box. And, uh, and let's go ahead and label some of the sides. And since we know that it has a square base, so what I'm gonna do is to label the two sides of the base, axis, and, uh, and then the height, I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to name it Y. Now, the uh, if you wonder how are we going to know what should we label, uh, the key is um, the key thing is that um, uh, well, first uh, probably there is unknown, and uh, in this case we'll say x. Okay, we will say the length of the side uh, of the base. Now, what about the height? Uh, should we use y or should we use any other letter or what should we do? Uh, the the advice here is this: if there is a way for you to express y, uh, express the height in terms of x, then you can go ahead and do that. But in this case, I don't see any obvious hint or clue that I can express the height in terms of x. So therefore, I'm just going to name it with y, and we'll see what's going to happen afterwards. Okay? So we have the labels. We have the x and x, and then y. So uh, let's see what uh, what other information I can extract from here. Now, the other important information that the question gives us is that there, uh, it, the the whole box, it's made by one hundred uh, one thousand square feet of material. So that means the surface areas of this box, it's going to be um, it's going to be. Uh, 1,000 total. So what I can do is that I will have the I would add the surface areas together. 
So there are five faces. So I would have the x square, which is the base at the very bottom. And then there are four faces of uh, x times y, which is uh, the sides of the open box. They are all identical because you have the base with x and the height, uh, that's y. So there are four of them total, so that's why it's 4xy. So that's something I can extract from the uh, from the question, okay? And since, and the next thing that I'm going to think of is that, hey, it's talking about volume, so why not, why don't we come up with, come up with an equation that describes the volume. So we'll say volume is x squared times y, length times width times height, okay? So we have these information and we're like, okay, so uh, what can we do at this point? Now, uh, remember earlier I told you about the um, uh, the graph, you have to have a function on the y-axis and, uh, and one independent variable in the x-axis. So if you look at the, uh, the two equations that are right here and the, especially the bottom one, we have the function, we have the volume function. But the problem is that we have two variables, okay, we have x and y, and, uh, and if we want to draw a graph that I showed you earlier, there can only be one single variable. So what can we do at this point? Well, what you will find out is that questions like this, there's a reason why you have two equations in front of you because you are going to make use of the first equation um, that uh, to, uh, to, to substitute one of the two, un uh, one of the two variables in the second uh, the volume equation. Now, the other thing I want you to think of is that when you write the first equation, this one, okay, uh, what you should think of is that uh, you can, as you write it, I want you to know that you can always express y in terms of x. Okay, that's very easy. You can just move the x squared to the other side, divide the 4x, so you can have y by itself. And because of this reason, we're going to do that because that's easier. That's easier for us to uh, to manipulate the equation, and uh, it's going to be easier for easier for us to uh, to put into a calculator. It would not be wise in this case to solve for x in the first equation because you have two places having an x. You have x squared, and then you have the x from 4xy. It will be somewhat difficult to isolate the x by itself. So with that said, then I'm going to um, I'm going to um, um, solve for the uh, solve for the unknown here. So uh, we are going to pick x. Okay, we're going to express everything in terms of x, so that we have the function for volume, and then we have the uh, variable x in the x-axis. So to do that, I will have the uh, I would put the um, I will put the uh, x squared to the left hand side, I will divide the 4x, then I find out that y is equal to 1000 minus x squared divided by 4x. And, uh, and what I would do is that I'm gonna put that into the y and then we have this equation, okay? Now the good thing about this uh, optimization is that we don't really have to do much about the, uh, the, the solving part. Uh, in the uh, like with our hands, we can simply type in the entire function into a calculator, look at the graph, and extract the valuable in, uh, information from the graph. Um, now, this is a non calculus tutorial, but when you go to calculus, you would not use a calculator, you would actually do this by hand, but that's something for later, okay? So, uh, so with this, we're going to put this into a calculator to generate a graph, and a graph. Uh, you can pause this video and type this into a calculator and see what kind of graph this is, okay? And uh, and for me, I already have the graph ready for you to see, so uh, you can pause and graph it yourself and then resume the video. But here's the graph, okay? So this is the graph that I have for the function, and, uh, and it has a minimum, it has a maximum, uh, in this uh, in this part, it is extremely extremely important that you know what is the uh, the domain of the uh, what is the domain of your um, of your um, of your function. Uh, the domain of this function is going to be from zero to thirty something right there uh, right here. Uh, I don't have the value with me, but uh, but it's going to be here because that's going to be the case where x is so large that you don't have a uh, you don't re you can't really have 
uh, a, a volume anymore because it becomes just a sheet of paper, okay? Uh, and we won't account for any of the negative values because you can't have a negative length for x. So it's very important that you know your domain. All right, so now since we're looking for the greatest volume and we know our domain, which is from 0 to 30 something, then we are going to look for the largest value from the graph in the given domain. So, uh, so and we're going to make look at this point. And if you, if you use a calculator to find this point, you will find out that it's going to be 18.257 for the x value and the, and the function value, it's going to be 3042.9. So now the uh, another very difficult or major struggle for many students is that once you find the maximum value, what does it show? How do you interpret the value? So I'm going to go over this uh, slowly to make sure that you understand the value. So what it means is that the container has its greatest volume when x is this particular value, 18.257 feet. Okay. So, uh, so that's what it means, okay? And that's how optimization is such an important topic because if we have a function that express the volume, uh, in this case, we can easily find out what the x, in this case, the length of the base, should be to give us the biggest, uh, the largest volume, okay? So in this case, 18.257 feet. And with this, we ask then, what about y? Because we need to find the dimension, right? So in order to find y, we can make use of the volume equation that we had earlier, which is x squared uh, times y. And we can substitute the volume uh, with the volume right here, okay, the given volume right here, uh, 3042.9. And then we substitute the x with 18.257, then um, you square that. You solve for y, and the y would be 9.13 uh, feet, okay? So uh, so what you have here is that the dimension of the container of this open top box that would give you the greatest volume, given that you only have 1,000 square feet of the material to build this box, is 18.257 feet by 18.257 feet by 9.13 feet. Okay, so so that's how we make use of the uh, of the variables and the function to help us find the maximum value of the function in this case the volume. Okay, so um, please leave a comment if you have any question. Uh, I would try my best to respond to you. Thank you for watching.